cats and dogs and so today is definitely going to be a very interesting part because I have some tea to spill about Nina and Nate Larson and Darius Grow. These three characters in this Let's Play, their lives are about to take a 360 spin so quick you will like you'll blink and you'll miss everything. It's not I'm not even kidding. Their their lives are so messed up. I I wrote out their lives from the very start of, the, of this Let's Play from the very beginning and I planned out everything and I did not anticipate this happening real, real fast, but it has happened so quick. I was like, wait, what just happened? I don't understand how this happened so quick, but it's happening. It's real. It's real life and it's going to be happening very soon. And hopefully their lives don't turn for the worse because I, I just don't know how to anticipate and how to tell you guys how how upset I am with this like family and their drama and their secrets and their lies that they've been telling for the past three years and it's kind of upsetting to me that all this stuff is happening and they haven't shared with me they haven't told me anything and I don't know how to explain it but it's it's gonna happen so for the past couple of weeks now Nina f yeah about four weeks ago Nina and Darius went to the yeah Nina and Darius actually went to Brindlin Bay to uh, do a whisk risky woohoo and they weren't using protection they were like okay we're we're fine we can do whatever we want we're grown adults but technically they were 17 years old but nina was actually on the pill and she was like having her period or whatever and four weeks ago she was having some like about a week ago she was having symptoms about three weeks ago having symptoms about you know morning sickness and not eating having a pick and eater phase and just weird things are happening to her body that she did not understand. And so she decided to go to the doctor and the doctor said, you know, everything is fine. It's perfectly normal to have morning sickness and not eating certain foods. And you're totally fine. Your body is just changing to become a grown woman. And she's like, okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. But she has been feeling a little bit upset. And she doesn't know, like she had like a pop-up bubble was like showing up earlier, like a baby rattle. And it was going through her mind for the past couple of weeks now, for the past like two-ish and a half weeks, that um, she was like saying to herself, like, am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? I didn't, we didn't use protection. And I was on the pill and I, I had my period or whatever. And she thought to herself, no, no, that's impossible. I can't be pregnant. That's insane. I, that's not possible. And so she doesn't really know how she really felt. And she feels like trash right now. Like, Honestly, she feels so uncomfortable around these surroundings in her life and she hasn't told anyone. She hasn't told Nate. She hasn't told Darius. She hasn't told, you know, uh, Savannah and she hasn't told her best friends and her best friends used to be her best friends back in like, you know, before she moved to a different state and she hasn't been in contact with them for a past, you know, for the past six years now and she kind of wants to like call them up, but she doesn't know their number at the time. So she might look them up, she might have to look up her friends, her old friends, on social media to contact them and hopefully they will come around soon to comfort her through time of need. But she's definitely kind of going through a lot in her in her life. But as of right now, she's going to take a pregnancy test because she's really, really curious to see if she is pregnant or not. And I'm quite concerned and she's concerned. And I've she's been writing her diary for the past four weeks saying, I don't know, could I be pregnant? We didn't use protection, but is this possible? Is is this actually happening to my life? If this, if I'm pregnant, my life will be ruined forever. And she's not really up. She's not really looking forward to it. But she, if she became a mother, she will be fine with it. But then again, in her life, her her life has been very very bad. Like her parents have died in a car accident. She's still looking for that. You know, she's going to be looking at a detective today and going to talk to them about the the, the murder and the case files and everything that she's going to look through today but also with her with her brother it's kind of confusing like you know nate's taking care of nina and he has to do whatever in his will to take care of her no matter what and so i'm not really sure how he's going to react to it i'm not sure how he's going to feel about it and so hopefully she isn't pregnant but if she is then we're going to figure it out together and we're all going to get through this together so she's going to see is she pregnant is she pregnant please Okay, Nina, everything's gonna be fine. It's totally fine if you are. We're gonna get through this together. <gasps> oh my gosh! Nina is eating for two. Oh my gosh. 
Nina Marie Larson is pregnant with a child at 17 years old. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. You know what? You know, you're gonna go, she can, we're gonna go downstairs, right in your diet, like right here, right now. She's okay. At this point in time, she's not know how she's feeling. She's gonna take a nice quick shower. Kind of just like reflect on what just happened. She just got news that she's pregnant. And she hasn't told Darius yet. She doesn't know how she's going to tell him. If she tells him, what will he do? Will he leave her? Will she? Will he um, comfort her? Will he just, like, be there with her no matter what through all, like, the situations? I don't know. And the fact that she's going to be a teen mom and she's having all these symptoms and she's going to be in her second trimester in about 24 hours, she is literally going on a downward spiral right now. She's a B student in high school. She's going to be on the honor roll very soon. She's kind of going towards, you know, homecoming court, homecoming queen, prom queen, and she still has to go through graduation, university, like, applications, scholarships. It's kind of going kind of crazy, and she's going through a lot of stress right now. And I'm going to have her go in and jog to clear her mind because I really want, oh, she can't because she's pregnant. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have her actually, let's see, I think we're going to have her go and take for a walk on her phone. Let's see. I don't think we can or not. No, we cannot. That's totally, totally fine. But I guess, you know, it's totally fine that she's kind of dealing with this right now, that she's pregnant with a baby. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to have her come downstairs and just paint. Because if you don't know this about Nina Larson already, what she does, if whenever she's feeling sad or upset or just kind of just angry at the world... What she usually does is that she comes downstairs to her studio and just paints her feelings. She's, that's what she does. And that's what she's been doing for the past 12 years, ever since her parents died. She has always found a joy for painting and expressing her feelings in her art. And the fact that she's pregnant doesn't know, she doesn't know how she's going to deal with, you know, her own retail shop that she owns. And she doesn't know if she's going to look, she doesn't know if she's going to really kind of, keep the business in her name or just give it to Darius. I'm not sure what he's going to do with either. And I'm not sure what her, what the future is going to become. And the fact that she's like going through these like life stages, like life stages is that she's going to have to look for a, a new job. Like this, like babysitting career is not going to do it. She's not going to be able to like, focus on her schoolwork and her, her job. She might actually have to quit her job in order to survive and not actually, um, I don't know. Because if she gets on the honor roll, then she's going to be able to actually get scholarships and get money for university. And so hopefully she gets enough money for, you know, becoming an extraordinary a painter extraordinaire and being on the honor roll and P PTK. It's a lot of things she has to do, you know, but that's how she's feeling right now. But overall, I'm kind of happy that she's semi-pregnant. Well, I mean, I'm happy that she's pregnant and she's kind of taking it well easy. But then again, she's also feeling kind of nervous about telling Darius and her brother. And I just don't know how they're going to react to it. So hopefully this doesn't turn for the worse and she doesn't get kicked out. I feel like I'm okay. I feel like if she does tell her brother that she's pregnant, I feel like that he's not going to kick her out. But she's go he's going to kind of lecture her that, you know, you should have thought better. She used protection. You should have not done this. You should have been like, you should have waited until you were ready. And so I feel like that's what he's going to say. And since, like, you know, their parents, like, okay, technically Nate's parents, but they're kind of related to their step-siblings. But with Larson Industries, they were a, a big, big company back in the day. And it's been going through generations and generations. But with, ever since their parents died, their funds have been frozen. And the um, Willow, well, actually, Newcrest Bank actually has their um, accounts intact and what they have to do is kind of just basically set a will and kind of just look at the will and see what they what they can get from their parents and see what can actually happen and so that's what they're kind of going to go to well most of that's what nate is going to do nate is going to probably go to the bank in the next couple of weeks or so and see what is in their trust fund and see what's on the will and see what their parents actually left them as um what they do so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and actually have her just freshen up, psych herself up, because she is literally, oh, that's the wrong person. Nina, we're going to have you go ahead and psych yourself up. Yeah, freshen up and psych yourself up and brush your teeth. 
But yeah, Nina is just, she's a very strong, independent woman, and I really do adore her a lot. So, Savannah, let's go and have you clean this up real quick. And for little Max, little Max here, he is like the most adorable child ever. He's a B student. He's going to be on the honor roll very soon as well, same as Nina. And then I kind of like that he has a little crush on Annie. Yeah, and it makes me happy that, you know, a little romantic interest, like a little childhood crush. And so hopefully I'm really curious, like, I don't know if he's going to ask her to the school dance. And I don't know, it's going to be really cool if, if she actually says yes. So um, what we can actually do here, we're going to probably visit to some family members, maybe or something like that later. Or go to the art exhibit because with, Nate, with Max's school, they actually have to go on a field trip later today around... I think I think the field trip starts at uh, I think yeah I think the field trip starts right when they start school so I'll have him go early and then he'll head off to school afterwards so he'll do that and we'll get that thing situated out the way so I forgot they don't have um oh no they have they have a hamper okay good so I forgot they do have a hamper which is great so um I might have Nina do some laundry and do it that way so let's gonna have her get her motherhood tax well get her motherhood instincts intact ready to go so let's gonna have her do some laundry real quick add to the washing machine you know it's always better to start off early when you know doing some laundry getting paying bills i mean i'm like her she's earning responsibility becoming a good parent and that's what she wants to do she wants to become a, a good painter extraordinaire but then also she wants to try her best to become a good mother and that's how she wants to do the rest for, like that's what she wants to do for the rest of her life become a good mother now that you know she's pregnant but you know it's her life she can do whatever she wants but anyway so i think what oh you okay you you okay woofers you okay and i don't know when is woofers birthday actually i'm not really sure woofer should be aging up t anytime soon so he has about 11 days before he ages up which is okay so with nate here you if you don't know nate nate has a He's a little bit of a cheater, and uh, he's been, you know, hooking up with Siobhan Fry, and uh, I just don't understand why he's doing it. I'm not sure why he's trying to tear up his family, but he's been, uh, has a, been, a, been a, having a, you know, romantic interest with her for a while, and they've been going on, on a couple of dates lately, and they have been hitting off. They woohooed for a couple times, and some risky woohoos. But the fact is, we don't know if Siobhan's pregnant or not. And that's the literally the most concerning thing ever. And so what we're going to have him do is I'm going to have him write a love letter to Siobhan. Because, he, you know, he's, he's loving in the moment. He's a little bit flirty. He wants to get to know her a little bit better. And he's kind of just tell, you know, I love you a little bit more. And with Savannah, she is like, she knows. She kind of like secretly knows but doesn't know at the same time. Like she has kind of figured it out and... And she knows that they, Nate has been a little bit distant lately, and she is kind of upset about it, and she doesn't know how she's going to deal with it, and so she might actually tell him, or tell him, yeah, if she, she's going she's gonna to tell him, if you don't stop, we're going to get a divorce, and that's what, that's something that I don't want to happen, that's something that I don't want them to do, like, if they get a divorce, that means Nate is going to lose custody of Max, and Nina will never forget, like, Nina will never forget, forgive her brother for what he has done. And if that happens, everything will literally become, everything will be over. And with Max being gone, like, with Max, like, growing up, he wants to have, he wants to have a father figure. He wants, he wants Nate in his life. And that's his father. He wants him to teach him the ways of being, like, you know, a, a man and, you know, just doing whatever he has to do to survive. But and then I feel like he is not going to be the, the great father figure that he's going to be. And so I'm not sure if he's going to do what he says he's going to do and take care of his son and teach him the ways of becoming a man and just growing up the way he wants to do. I just feel like he's just not the right person. And so Savannah should just, you know, Savannah needs to really get her her um ducks in a row and literally figure out her life before, you know, something bad happens and Nate leaves her. for the, Yeah, basically Nate's leave her. And we can't, we cannot let that happen. Nate cannot let that happen. If Nate screws this up, he's done. He, he it just can't. It, it's just not going to happen. And apparently they're kissing and still, 
at the time, Nate has her fooled. Nate has Savannah fooled. Like, you know, I'm not cheating on you. I've never seen Siobhan in my life. It was just a one-time thing. It's totally fine. Yeah, right, Nate. Yeah, one-time thing where, you know, five times in a row and it was a whiskey woohoo. That doesn't, that's not a one-time thing. That's called cheating. Your dirty, your dirty little liar cheater, he cannot be trusted. And I honestly am, like, literally shocked and appalled. So... I'm going to have Nina actually take the day off from school because she actually is going to talk to the detective today about her parents' death. And she has been literally soul-searching for who has killed her parents, why they did it, what is going on. And so what is going to be happening is that we are going to figure out where the detective lives, but we do know where, where um, we, we, I already know, I already placed him down in the world. We already know where he's at, but... We are going to go ahead and chat with him about the case files, about, you know, the life of our parents, about their parents' death. And I think once you know that Nina figures out the whole entire situation about, you know, her parents, is that she can finally, you know, kind of just talk about them and kind of just write in her diary and just see what she can actually do. So we're going to go actually travel over to um, Willow Creek, which is actually where the detective actually lives, and go to his house talk to him, see what he's up to, and kind of just see what is happening with the case file, because it's been open, like, the, the the murder case file has been open for literally 10 years. Like, it's been open for, like, more than that. It's been open for, like, 12 years. But still, it's been open for a long time, and they still cannot solve the case. And so, we still have to figure out what was going to happen, but Detective Chris is living over here in Willow, in Willow Creek. We're going to go and talk to him about about some stuff here and we're gonna see what he's up to what, he, what has he found and i'm thinking that you know D detective chris has been here in willow creek for about 13 years but he was assigned to the job for this specific case of the larson family because the larson family is a huge family lineage and they've been going on for ages like, they've been around since the 1700s and since then they have been working their lives of being like you know, rich and poor and middle class, high class, low class. They've been all over the spectrum of, you know, wealth and whatever happens, happens. But they've worked their way up through life and they just, she just, she just has to know. She just has to know what is the deal, what's going on. And she just has to figure out how all this ties together with her family's murder. But I want to take a picture of this real quick. Ooh, shoot. What the heck happened? Okay picture of that because i really i really want a picture of really what's happening right now and that oh that's a mirror <laughs> what the heck happened okay but yeah this is really really shocking but i want to get a picture right here on this side it's really good i like that one better but anyway so we're here at detective chris's house hello hello how are you doing detective chris just come on in hello detective chris how are you doing oh detective chris christopher golden that's what his name is okay so we're going to go ahead and do a friendly introduction to him. And she's having a little bit of morning sickness right now from pregnancy. So Nina is has woken up from feeling violently ill as if it's something that is pushing her inside all around. And that's very true. She is pregnant with child, but we do not know what the gender is. So leave in the comments below, who, what do you think the gender is? Like, what is, the, what is the gender? A boy or a girl? How many kids is she having? Twins, triplets, or a single? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. And should we tell... Darius, how will he, how will he react to the whole situation of her being pregnant? Because I don't know. So Dagdag, hello. So Detective Chris, I have um complained about her parents. So Detective Chris, I've been really skeptical about this whole case file, and have you found anything about what has been happening to my parents? And so Christopher has has told has just told Nina about her parents that I have found some clues. I found some clues about your parents and I think I have a lead on <laughs> yeah. where the murderer actually lives and I found some case files and here, here is some pictures of the case files right here. It has some notes. We can't really, act, we can actually, we cannot really look at them but we're gonna have them both sit down together. So we're gonna have them just know, where? Oh, he's gonna go to work, shoot. No, 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 don't go to work. Don't go to work, please don't go to work. We don't have time for that, we don't have time to call him over. Um, oh no, actually no, we're gonna have him, we're gonna have him, like, I think he's, we're gonna say, 
we're gonna say that it's, everything's fine when you know, just sit back and relax it's totally fine make yourself at home you can look at the case files everything is fine so yeah i think he just went to work to go and work on a case about the murder to look for some more clues which is totally fine but what we're gonna do is actually gonna take some photos here on the table just take some stuff right here so that is what she's gonna that's what she's doing right now taking some photos on the table to look at the case files and that is what she knows about her parents like right now she knows where the murderer actually lives and she doesn't know if he's home or not he she knows like from look, looking at the case files and what the what christopher has told her already is that she is um she knows where like he told her where the murderer lives she he has also told her that he is a white male with red hair he is only 34 years old lives in windenburg on a desert on a very deserted island where no one lives around it lives a very small home but the thing is is that he what he worked for larson industries and that's like the most shocking thing i've ever heard in my entire life and find that out that he worked for larson industries kind of has a bit of like a personal thing because she kind of part owns but not really part like kind of owns and semi doesn't own larson, larson industries nate technically owns larson industries but then again her grandparents owns the company because they're still alive but then again i'm like i don't know the fact that he they worked there is very very shocking so i'm quite concerned how this all ties together like what was he doing there what what was his job how did it all work so it's very very weird that that this guy he just i don't know but what nina is gonna actually do is definitely go over to windenburg look at his house kind of snoop around see what's inside and making sure that he is not home because if he if he if, because if he's home then we're screwed and we don't know like at this point in time he the murderer knows who the larson family is like he's followed the family lineage for the longest time ever since he's been alive but the weird thing is that he knows what nina looks like and that's even scarier like i mean he kind of knows what she looks like when he was like when she was a little girl like, back then but now he kind of doesn't know what she looks like so hopefully he doesn't figure out the whole situation about you know the family and life and so what we're gonna do i'm gonna have her go ahead and search on the web to look up the address so let's go ahead and look on the web we're going to browse the web real quick look up the address on windenburg because she doesn't know exactly where it's at but she knows where it's in windenburg on a deserted island but she doesn't know the actual coordinates but i just like i feel like that with this is coming like the case files are coming along together with the whole situation about her parents and her and their death and finding out where the murderer lives it's like she kind of finally have closure and this feels really really good about you know with the whole graduation university and you know the baby and darius and them and their relationship and the whole fact that she's not doesn't know what she's gonna do with the rest of her life is quite very very shocking so she's like okay i can finally have closure i can finally figure out what i'm gonna do with my life and I feel like that she's really becoming, like, actually becoming happy. Like, I honestly, truly, truly mean, like, she's actually becoming happier now that she knows about her parents' murder. So, we're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit more. And now she's happy. I'm going to get her a quick meal of, or actually get some water real quick. Drink some water, water and grab a quick meal of some applesauce. Because as of right now, the baby is craving some applesauce and... Again, she is a picky eater, and she doesn't doesn't really want to, like, eat too much food, even though she is eating for two. She doesn't want to, like, you know, give the wrong food to the baby and end up throwing up everywhere else. So, I don't know. I feel like she wants to have a baby shower, a baby shower, but then she also wants to, like, you know... I don't know. I, I have so many plans for Nina, and she has plans for herself, too. She kind of wants to invite over her friends that she knew back, like, six years ago, and there's her grandmother. Weird. Okay, Grandma. But, um, she kind of wants to, um, invite her, she wants to, like, invite over her old friends that she used to, ones that she, she used to knew back in junior high school before, like, you know, she moved away and her parents died and she had to move with her, live her, with her, her brother. So, she kind of wants to, like, meet them again, see what they're up to, what's going on. So, I might actually, um, they might actually be involved with the Let's Play and 
become her bridesmaids or whatever because i'm just why i'm just like really really excited for this and i'm really pumped to see how all this will tie together and i'm just pretty proud of nina on how much she has grown as a as a person becoming a mother very soon and so it's becoming really really great but i'm gonna have nate actually just go ahead and just just go to work normal deep be fine and we're gonna have uh max city hard at school to get on that honor roll and have savannah work on her cooking skill <gasps> oh no the dominic experience is fading away oh so we actually need to go over to so we need to go over to the parents grave so yeah we definitely need to go and visit um nina's parents graves for the last time and kind of connect their spirit to the physical world a little bit longer but also give them a sugar sugar skull offering because i really want her to just kind of give them a, one last like piece like i've moved on and i need you I, I just I, I want you guys to move on to a better place and so i feel like that she can finally have closure so that's what she's gonna do today as well before she heads over to windenburg and look, look and looks at the um the, no the culprit of this whole entire place she's gonna go to the bathroom real quick but um yeah so i'm pretty just pretty just like nervous about the whole thing that she can finally have closure and go to the grave and say you know mom dad i found i found the culprit who is responsible for your death and he worked for larson industries and i can finally have closure and i can finally just tell you guys about my feelings and I feel like that Nina is just like the perfect person to just tell about. I, I feel like she can actually write about her life. I honestly truly believe that if Nina can get the right information to, from the detective while he's at work and he comes back, I truly honestly believe that if she can tell her story, it will become literally the best bestseller on the market and everyone will truly believe her. It's going to be kind of, kind of like more of her, like her her passion, her life story about how she became as a six-year-old girl, losing her parents at this young age, and living her life as a teen mom, and it's kind of coming coming to play, and so it's all weird in a sense, but it's coming together as a whole. So I'm pretty proud about that. And um, so was Nate being was Nate being distant from Savannah is that they have been going to a marriage counselor for a while and. Nate and Savannah haven't doing haven't been doing that well. They have been having some arguments lately, and I am quite concerned. Like Savannah is like on the verge, is literally on the verge of divorcing Nate because they haven't worked out their feelings. They haven't worked out solutions about how to you know come together as a whole, and so it's really really concerning. But we're gonna go ahead and release the, release the spirit of Dominic Larson, and just it's okay to move on. So. Yeah, and Isabella. So we're gonna just gonna take a picture of this, tell them to move on. Ah, oh, man, 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 man. My goodness, like this let's play has gone on so long for a short while, but it's been coming very, very personal, and it's rather upsetting that it's happening so fast. And I feel like that Nina has been been helping. I don't know. She's been speaking finally born. So we're gonna read the obituary or the graves real quick. We're gonna read them both here. She can she cannot actually mourn them, but it says for them from the time we spent together, you were truly the best father I ever had. Yes. And for the mother for Isabella, what does it say? So mother, best friend, all around superhero, our superhero, our superhero. That is very, very true. And I actually kind of like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel out to Windenburg, but we are going to actually go to the bathroom real quick because you do have to go pee. But I don't think there's a bathroom here. There is not. Um, but there okay, there isn't. Okay. That is fine. But we're gonna head over to Windenburg and find the culprit. Hopefully crossing our fingers that he is not home because we know what he kinda looks like, but we don't know what he looks like at the same time because we are still on the verge of like we are still teenagers and we can still go to jail. We like if we if he finds us, like sneaking on his property, we could go to jail for this. Like there's two, like, there's two ways, two options. One, go on his property and he's not home. Lucky enough, he won't be home. Or two, finds us and goes to jail. And then our, 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 then our whole case file is screwed. And then there's like no evidence about anything at all. So, Windenburg, here we go. Still concerned. 
it's fine but he actually lives over on this right here um his last name is Matson, and it looks like he is home so hopefully oh oh gosh okay 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 we're gonna go over here and the fact that is Nina is the only one that knows about this person and only knows about the case file. Nate is literally the clueless person ever. Like, Nina didn't tell anyone about this. Like, she has kept this in her diary for the longest time, kept the secret, and there are some lies in that in that diary of hers about her parents and her life. But also, she's like lying to everyone and like lying to their face. Like she has low she has lied to Darius, Savannah, Max, Nate, her grandparents for all that reason. And the fact that her grandparents gave her money to, like, so she can afford her retail shop is quite shocking. Like, why would you lie to your own grandparents? It just makes no sense. And so, I just don't know how her life is going to be like this. Okay, okay, pause, 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 pause. Okay, okay. So, this is actually the trailer that this guy actually lives. He's a very, very sketchy person, and... Oh man, I am literally the most concerned person ever. Like his is his house, his is his truck, his bonfire. It looks like he had a child back in the day, or it was here for a couple times. But we're gonna like, kind of look inside his house. Okay, it looks empty real quick. Oh gosh, here he is. Here he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Oh, oh. oh okay. Uh. This is a guy. This is a guy. This is a culprit. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay. Okay, there must be a there must be a window right here. We're gonna actually we're gonna walk on this we're gonna walk on this property real quick. We're gonna just we're gonna sneak over here. So Nina, let's go over here. Walk right up here. Nina, ni Nina, please walk up here. Okay, walk, walk real fast. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Woo. Okay, 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 okay. He, okay, we didn't. He didn't. I don't think he saw us. I don't think he saw us at all. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, everything looks okay. I mean. So far, it's not that bad. I th I feel like that she is on the verge of like, okay, she's safe. She hasn't been caught yet, but we're going to do a little snooping around real quick to see what we can actually find around here. Because I feel like that he has some secrets. And, um... I feel like that we're gonna view on it. We're gonna we're gonna view on his truck. Basically, we're gonna like snoop around on his truck, see what we can actually find. Because I'm really 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 curious. Okay, we're view we're we're searching through his van. She's like finding some clues. Like, what can she find on his property that will find? Ah. Like, what can she find? What what can be actually be lost? What evidence can be found to take to the police? Like, that's what she's trying to find. But we're gonna like search around Windenburg real quick because he has hidden some clues. He has some secrets of, of himself as well, and I feel like that he has like hidden some stuff around here that they, that we can find. But seriously, I I have no idea how all this stuff happened. And with the fact that Nina has found the culprit, like, red-handed, and the fact that he's, like, literally right there, it's so weird. And so I'm like, it's like, we can finally have peace. We can finally, like, finally be quiet for once. And so, I feel, like, at ease right now. I feel at ease for Nina and her life and her baby and... Or her babies, I'm not really sure. But still, this is really, really great. But I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this part right here. Because this, go this part has gone on for long enough. So many secrets. So many lies. So many, like, heartbreaks and surprises have been happening in this entire part for 33 minutes. And honestly, I'm so, so concerned that, that Nate... Darius, Savannah are all going to be shocked and disappointed, even though they are going to be disappointed at the same time. But still, I'm still so... I just feel for Nina. I feel for Nina so much. She has lost her parents. She has found out who are, who killed her parents and found out what... and found out how he knows... how She found out how the culprit knows her parents, but we don't know why he did it. And so that's what we're still trying to figure out. Why did he kill her parents? So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me get down in the comments below as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!